So I have a deck of cards here. I'm going to have you just touch the back of any card. This one here. It really doesn't matter which card. Um, take a look at it so you remember it if you see it again. Just kidding. I mean, when you see it again. And I'm going to place it here on top and go ahead and cut it into the middle for me. So then you would take the cards and actually cut them. And you could actually cut them again and again if you'd like. Now I'm going to try and uh, find your card, but not on my own. You see, I'm going to enroll the help of two of my friends. They're the Jacks. And uh, so we're going to look for the two red Jacks. There's one and two. Perfect. Um, so here we have the two red Jacks. And they're going to help me with this. And I'm just going to give the cards a, a quick little shuffle here to mix them up just a little bit more. So we have the Jack of Hearts on top and the Jack of Diamonds is going to go on the bottom. And check this out, this is kind of cool. They're going to help me find your card. So they're sandwiching one card and all I have to do is toss the cards from my right hand to my left and one card gets trapped in between the Jacks. I don't know if you can see this or not, but let's check it out your card, the seven of spades. All right, thank you. Now on with the explanation. All right, welcome back for the explanation. So for the explanation of uh, the sandwich effect, you need a deck of cards. And for this routine, you need the, um, the two red jacks. And you can use any two of a kind. It doesn't matter what they are, but I use the two red jacks. So a regular deck of cards, the two red jacks, and those can be lost anywhere in the pack. It doesn't matter where those are. Um, and you need to know the bottom card of the deck. But here's how I do that. I will oftentimes shuffle the cards or have the spectator shuffle the cards. It doesn't matter. Um, you just have to be careful when somebody else shuffles them that they don't bend them all up. And uh, after they're shuffled, when I square them up like this, I just peek the bottom card, which in this case is the four of spades. So from your view, it looks like this, but I'm just squaring up the card. So I shuffle and I square and I peek. And in this case, it's the nine of diamonds. So we'll keep the nine of diamonds as the bottom card that I know. Now this is called a key card. So the nine of diamonds is my key card and I'm gonna have them select any card they want. It doesn't matter which card it is. It can be any card in the pack. Um, they touch it, they can remove it, or you can take it out and hold it up and show them what it is, show everybody what it is, and then have them place it back on top. And then I usually say, go ahead and just cut the cards over into this hand, so they'll cut like half the cards over here, and then they'll complete the cut, which buries my key card right on top of their selection. So I say, I'm going to find your card, but not in the usual manner. You see, I'm going to enlist, it, um, enlist the help of the two red jacks. Let's see if we can find those jacks here. Now what I'm doing is I'm going through the cards, but towards myself, looking for my key card. Now my key card is the nine of diamonds right here, and you'll notice right above it is their card, the six of, the six of diamonds. They don't know that I have a key card or anything like that. So I just spread through the cards, looking for the red jacks. And uh, I know right where their card is. And there's the two red jacks. So I'll cut the two red jacks, uh, or I'll upjog them towards myself. And then I'm going to cut the cards right where their card is, that six of diamonds. But I do that towards myself. I just cut the cards, and I pull out the red jacks. So this leaves me with the two red jacks here their card on the very bottom and I'm ready to go into finding their card. I say we place uh, one jack, the jack of hearts, on top and the other jack, the jack of diamonds, on the bottom. And you're going to leave the card side jogged like this because you want to be able to touch their card with uh, the pads of your fingers um, because that's how this trick works. 
So you then say, look, I'm going to toss the cards from one hand to the next. And um, the way I did it in this video, uh, in the performance, was vertical like this. It doesn't matter. You can do it vertical where it looks like that. And uh, one card gets left behind. And again, how that works is you have the jacks, one on top, one on bottom. And you leave this one what's called side jogged so that you can contact the six of diamonds with your thumb. So I hold the cards like this, but in this fashion. So my thumb is contacting the jack and their card, the six of diamonds, and then my fingers here are contacting the jack of hearts so that the friction will actually hang on to it. So I'm going to very slowly just let go, and you'll see all the cards stay, uh, they slide out from beneath the cards, leaving me with just one face down and then the two jacks. And that face down card just happens to be their selection because I was touching it. So real quick up to speed, um, the jacks are one on the face, <laughs> pardon me, one on the face, one on the top, and uh, you can even do it this way where your fingers contact the six and that jack, and I'm going to toss this way, like this, and one card gets left behind, and I very, very slowly turn it towards myself first, get kind of a grimacy look on my face, and then I turn it to show them that in fact it is their six of diamonds. And that is the sandwich routine. I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.